We're doing a second edition of the zombie hot takes. I got some of these from the previous video and I also got some of these from the community. Poll I do. So if you ever want to get one of your takes featured, be sure to go over there, check out the community polls. And also comment under this video and you'll probably be in a part three because the last video you guys really enjoyed. I also post some of these on TikTok, so if you want to get on there, go ahead. It's in the description. Hope you guys enjoy the takes. Alright, so the first one we get into here today is when it comes to getting high rounds, BO3 is a lot more engaging and fun than BO2, BO1, and Cold War. Well off to the start, you know, BO1 and BO2, BO3's high rounds definitely solos them. Cold War, I think Cold War is better than BO2 and BO2. 100%. I think BO3 is just more engaging and fun than Cold War because of the gobble gum. It's like vac, you know, you know, you have power vacuum. You can skip rounds. You get the self medication to help you go, and you get the near death experience to keep you going. Cold War's high rounds are good though, so I can see where some people might prefer Cold War's because it's a little more archaic. Because you get the kill streaks and everything. But I'm gonna say this is a W take. It's a good start. Still moving on. Take number two. Summer Chronicles One was the most overrated DLC ever, and I'm dying on that hill. Knocked Verut were too chunky for the BO3 engines. This Minoshima, Kino, and Ascension were too. Slow. Chang was alright. Moon's anti gravity was ruined by BO3's engine, and Origins was myth. I would have to write a reply just analyzing it. Okay, buddy. Moving on. This is similar to a take we had in the previous video, where he argued the map selection, where I guess this guy's arguing more of the actual engine part of it and the gameplay. Knocked being too clunky, man. I don't know. You try World at Wars knocked. No matter what you say, these versions are better than the World at Wars for gameplay wise, not like high rounds, because high rounds, because you get the gobble gums, but in World at War for Noct, you only get 24 zombies around. There's no infinite damage weapon though. And Rook, once again, there's no infinite weapon, but you get 24 zombies around. Chino Numa too slow. Okay, I guess. Shang was alright. Yeah, Shang was alright. I'll give that. Moon's. I don't think Moon's Anti Gravity was ruined by BO3. I can't lie. I th I thought it was pretty cool. I think I was I was rocking with it. And Orange is being mid. Yeah, people are gonna say that because the mud was changed and you can't launch yourself halfway across the map with the Boom Hilda. But I still find myself enjoying it. It's always nice to be able to have gobble gums on maps that like you want to play again. Like, I can always go back and play BO2 Origins, but being able to use the gobble guns and stuff for BO3 is way more fun. I personally enjoyed it, so I'm gonna give it a I'm gonna give it an L take. Um, some BO1 maps are bad. Which ones? Um, if you're talking about like Kino, Kino's not bad, Five's not bad, Shangri La's not bad, Moon's not bad, Call of the Dead's not bad. What maps are bad? L take. Next in line, Vulturate is the best perk in Treyarch Zombies. I mean, it's 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 up there. It's an S-tier perk. I wouldn't say it's the best. I might actually go with widow's wine but then again you do get bullets back but it is on only one map so looking and seeing i think i still might go with widow's wine or just jug i don't know yet it's a tough decision to have to pick one perk i don't think it's the craziest take to have vulture as yours so i'll give it a mad take hot take cold war zombies is a top three zombies game of bo1 and bo3 above it i think it edges out bo2 because it has three of the worst maps and three of the best and bo4 wall because that game was for the most part horrible with blood voyage and alpha omega uh, it's it's in, uh, it's interesting that you have BO1 so high, but then again, BO1 doesn't necessarily have any bad maps. Cold War is up there for sure, especially gameplay wise. I don't know if I would put it above some of the big ones because it just doesn't have story. Gameplay wise, yeah, absolutely. I would say it's probably top three. I actually might say it's second best gameplay wise. Story wise, I don't know, man. It's tough when you just have operators and you try and compare it to things with story. I'm gonna. I'm gonna ha I'm gonna trust you and because we've had a lot of L takes in here. I'm gonna give you a W take. I feel generous right now. Last take of the day. Dead of the Night is the best BO4 map. So I know there's a lot of people that really hate Dead of the Night, and I personally don't see why. I get that the Easter egg can be a little tedious with the scratch marks. It's it is a painful Easter egg, but not as painful as some of the other maps. Like when you look at Blood of the Dead classify where you need to get to 150. There's actually some hot takes I should cover in another video about some of the things people were saying about Bullet of the Dead in my community poll about the hardest Easter egg. People were being very out of pocket. But Dead of the Night's atmosphere is really cool. I just wish the story wasn't so terrible. The story was really bad with it being a prequel that no one really cared about. It's a filler It's a filler story map. But the gameplay is really cool and I like the werewolves. I like the vampire ideas. Like the ideas were all there. The execution could have been a little better. Whether I think it's the best map, no. You have 9, you have my personal favorite of BO4, which is Ancient Evil. But, you know, it is a top 3 map, I'd say. I So, like, this isn't the craziest take. I'm gonna give it an L take, but could have been a whole lot worse. Alright guys, that's gonna be it for this zombie hot take video. You guys can give me some hot, steamy takes as much as I expected. Be sure to comment some more steamy hot takes. I want, and I don't think I'm not gonna use some old ones too. If you guys commented on the first one and I didn't put them in this video, Still a chance you're gonna be in the next one, so don't give up. Alright guys, peace and love, baby.